so I've bought this right on lawnmower to mow my block. Uh, it cost me $50, but you can see there's no engine on it. And that was because I've got a box here somewhere. The connecting rod on the piston had actually broken off. So you can see there it's snapped off into the engine. That's just a box of parts. Um, so I took the engine off, which is there, and I've bought one off the internet, which I'm gonna be installing. But before I do that, I um, thought I'd clean up all this rust, not only surface rust, give it a paint and a um, bit of, uh, what am I using? Um, a rust stopper. You paint it on and it sort of hardens the rust or cures it so it doesn't spread anymore. Then I'm going to be using kill rust paint and um, painting it on every way you need so you can see I've already sanded it. Um, started peeling back some of the tape. But yeah, it's a, the brand model is King Cat. It had a Briggs and Stratton 16.5 horsepower motor strapped to it. Um, that seat was broken. All the other parts were working all right. Fairly good tires on it, as you can see. Um, the the cutting deck isn't too bad. The blades will need replacing. Didn't come with a battery. That's all right. I can hook it up. Um, all the wires are intact. The new engine I bought is, um, it's called a Jono and Jono replacement engine. It's actually your larger size that I got. So I got the 17 horsepower model. Same bolt pattern on the website where you buy it. They give you the measurements to where your bolts, your bolts go. So measured it out, it's gonna work fine. If not, I will be able to drill some more holes, but it should match the Briggs and Stratton motor that was in there anyway. Um, so yeah, that's a little project. <coughs> Steering works, um, pedals work, brakes work, um, the rear drive shaft or diff, whatever's in one of these, um, seemed to be all right, no leaks in it. Um, I think most of this rust was caused by oil leak or some sort of, some, something that was eaten away at the paint. But um, yes, yeah, so that's the project. Um, I don't know if I'll film much of me um, doing this restoration work, so the the painting and stuff. I may, I may not, but um, I will be filming putting the engine in and how it's all wired up. Just so if you'd like to do the same for your mower, you can do it. But um, yeah, pretty much. $50 for the body, $600 for the engine, delivered. Um, so for, for pretty much a brand new motor in a reasonable condition right on, you're looking at $800 and that's still cheaper than a second hand one anyway. There's the hood, I've taken it off, fairly good nick, no real scuffs. Those marks there from when I laid it over to get the engine out. Bit of rust I've got to clean up there. Um, it's got 600 hours on it, so that's why the engine was probably on its way out anyway. But yeah, more videos to come on this ride on lawnmower build. So there we are, I've been through and painted all the rusty spots. You can see how they've now turned black. So the product I used was this um, kill rust, rust eater, it's a rust converter, you paint it on, um, there must be some sort of reaction there that um, seals off the rust, so I've done that, now I've got to wait for it to cure, and then um, I'll go back with the, I've got a kill rust primer, so I'll, I'll just paint it on with a brush, prime it all, because um, that'll be hidden anyway, and then later on, um, you can see all these bits here. I may do a whole respray, but um, 
For now, I'll just do the engine bay so I can get the engine in. And these bits in here. Um, these wires, I might unplug when I'm painting. Because um, I'll be painting this whole, whole inside area pretty much. All that one colour. And um, that should be good. But that's all I can do for today, so um, this will be part one, I guess. And then I'll update you as I go along, as I get the engine in, as I test it out, as I get it running, and all that good stuff. So, hope you enjoyed. This is my ride on lawnmower build.